speaking of protection, what are the most, uh, the best pr protective steps that, that you can implement in your own life to prevent cancer? Uh, sending your kid to school wrapped in saran wrap. No, I'm just kidding, of course. Uh, that, you know, I've always laughed at that scenario and, you know, when you brought up the issue of infectious disease, um, how some kids or some adults don't get sick when they're exposed. And of course, the, the parents aren't sending them wrapped in plastic. Boy in the plastic bubble. Yeah, exactly. And uh, the, the reality is their strength is such that it protects them. Uh, so uh, how do we protect ourselves from cancer? You know, we got to live differently. We got to think differently. We got to believe differently. We've got to find our mission and our passion in life. When we talk about the spiritual reason for being here, you can develop cancer from having that spiritual toxicity where you don't know who you are or why you're here. Could create such depression and misery and disconnect that that alone can create corruption to your physiology. That's the connection we have, the body, mind, spirit concept. But if we talk about the simplest things, because sometimes it's harder, honestly, to be spiritually disciplined than it is to be disciplined in your physical body, like to exercise, which is vitally important. But how do we exercise choices that benefit our physical body? That means choosing food that is not corrupted, food that has not been poisoned or intoxicated by the additives, preservatives, colorings, flavorings, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, and beyond. We've got to go, if not organic, we've got to go beyond it and, and really clean up what's coming in. Get to know your local farmers. If, even if they're not certified organic, they might be cleaner than organic, but the process of dealing with a federal bureaucracy may be such that it's untenable to do. So I won't say only organic. I will find out that as a farmer growing things the way that I would grow something, that I would feed my own children and grow your own food. Bring that back in. We've all got to do, like after World War II, we had victory gardens. We now have to declare liberty, liberty gardens. Everybody should plant even one thing if it's just an herb. If not, you know, a bed of lettuce, something that can change and transform our lives because we don't have enough control over the food supply and it is contaminated all around the world. Even the organic food is not as clean as it once was. So for me, it's very important what goes in. That means also purifying, cleaning the water. Talk about structuring the water as well because there's an energy to water. That's why homeopathy is so amazing. That goes beyond merely filtering it and cleaning it. So there are other uh, nuances to protecting ourselves from cancer. There's always something more to do. But at the proverbial end of the day, just do what you have genuine control over. Right? You can't do that which you can't. That you can turn over to God. Pray on it. But that which you have control over, we are asked to do. We can't slack off on that which we have genuine control over, to choose cleaner foods, to choose cleaner waters, to, to not do certain things that we know are self-destructive. These are within our power. We're asked to do that. We can't abuse the privilege of life and say, well, nah, I don't want to do that one. Ultimately, we have to take control over that which we have been granted and given control over.